You did it again. You did it again. Hype train's loud. How do you do that? <clears throat> Almost every stream. Somehow the hype train kicks off right as the clock is ticking down to zero and we're going live. How do you do that? I don't know how you guys do that. It's amazing. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. How are you guys doing? Was it a good week? Did everybody have a good week? I hope so. A bit of a bit of a wild uh, week for me. No, not decked out today. Uh, when I talked to Pearl about doing decked out, I said I need to finish up some things first because uh, I'm so behind. So didn't I, I hope you didn't think it was going to be the very next stream was going to be decked out. Uh, it's going to be soon ish. Let me catch up on some stuff and then we'll do it. Uh, so that no, wasn't wasn't planning for today, but we will be we will be planning something. Don't worry. It'll it'll happen. Just have some patience. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I uh, I, I got to make a video. I'm quiet. Why? Why? Every time. You know what? Hold on. I always raise my mic. Let me do this. Gosh, when I talk, I'm in the yellow. I don't understand. All right. Uh, let me see what I can do. Hello. I raise the whole the whole thing up. Oh wait, 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 wait. I might have another way. I might have another way. Hold on. I shouldn't be quiet though. At least the meter's showing. It's almost hitting red. Red bad, as far as I know. Uh, here we go. There. How about that? That better? That better? That fixed the volume issues? Now I need to not touch those dials ever again. <laughs> there, that should be good, yeah? I was okay. All right. I'll leave that up. <clears throat> A little better? I don't want to be quiet. I want you guys to hear me. Captain Manguido, thank you so much for the 130 bits. It just literally rolled off the screen. <laughs> Thanks for all you do. You're so inspirational. Love the content. Thank you. Appreciate that, Captain. Jay Langwell with the 300 bits. Thank you so much. Tony J with the 100 bits. Because we love getting it started at the beginning. That's right. You guys kick it off. You kick it off the right way. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I got to finish video, guys. <laughs> I, I've been... The, the beginning of the week was a bit wild because I was getting my windows replaced in my house. And so I was having to take down blinds and, and, and curtains and move furniture and, and all that. The house was, you know, hot. And so my wife would want to come in the studio and, and get out of the, the hot. And it, so anyway, it was hard to work. Uh, but that's all done now. They can finish it up. Windows look great. New door. We got a new back door as well. Uh, it looks great. Uh, so that's all done. And then I spent yesterday just, well, I, I, did, I did a few things yesterday. You guys want to see? You guys want to see? I may or may not have made something yesterday that took a f just a few hours of my time. There it is. What do you think? Why am I facing this direction? <laughs> Here we go. Big reveal. Oh, it's down there. <laughs> it's down there. Hold on. Let's do free cam. Okay, I was facing the right direction. I just... Oh, small one. A little bitty, itty, itty bitty. A little itty bitty creeper farm. Okay. Well, it looks like it's working. It, kind of, it looks like it's, it's working. Yeah. It seems like, it seems like it's, it's doing okay. It's, it'll do. <laughs> Haunted couldn't resist himself. <laughs> It'll do. It's adequate. Is that an adequate enough creeper farm for you guys? <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> uh, it's adequate. All right. All right. Good, 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 good. So let's go check. I AFK'd a little bit. I, uh, I got to turn this thing off. It's acceptable, I guess. All in a good day's work. We collected the materials last stream, which was what? Wednesday? Right? We collected the materials. So that that definitely helped, but it was still it was still a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh this there was a lot of slabs. You know what was really a lot of work? 
these. You can't see. It's so dark in here. Uh, should I turn on the gamma real quick? I always forget how to do it. What is it? Tweakaroo? Somewhere there's a gamma. Here. I need a hotkey for that. So, it's the trap doors. Those took forever to do. But you guys have probably seen this before. An Embon uh, design. I've been building this same... Well, usually just a regular mob farm. This time we put the trap doors to make it creeper only. I've been building the same design since season five. Like this was the exact same design that was in the little, uh, the little uh, towers on the corners of my base. Spider proof. Yep, we put the glass columns in here so we don't get any spiders. Trap doors, so it's it's not we're not getting any zombies or skellies. Of course, obviously no Endermen because they're too high. Anyway. So yeah, so let's find out. Uh, let's find out if we made any any gunpowder. Yeah, let's see if we got anything. Now this this is what we're gonna work on today a little bit. I I don't have a very good way to collect. Oh yes. Oh, we're like right in the sweet spot. Right in the sweet spot. Look at that. We didn't over collect. It was just approaching. Just approaching filling up what we did actually put in place for storage as a starting starting storage so uh no oh you know what no late night stream tonight we blew it we we blew it yeah we whoops uh we had talked like a month ago that tonight was supposed to be our return to the to the night stream and then yet we haven't talked about it since uh okay okay Okay, we blew it. So no no night stream tonight. Cause we just straight up it's we've all been so crazy busy. Next week <laughs> Give us another chance. Hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. Sorry. Things have been things have been nuts. Um Man, tonight would have been a good one too. Shoot. Uh anyway, okay, sorry. I uh, I need to go get some stuff. We need to go. We need to make that little, we need to make it so we can go underneath over to that storage and not drown. So now you guys have seen, seen that. Uh, stay up, play Phasmo. Probably not. Uh, well, I, I can ask the guys. I can ask the guys if they're down for a last minute change of, of, of plans. But uh, I think we'd rather plan a nice, fun Friday night, you know, worthy stream for you guys instead of last minute. Like, oopsies. I could do a conduit, but I, I think I want to actually make a, a, a... I mean, I could do a conduit. Now you got me thinking. Do I want to just leave it underwater and put a conduit and be done with it? No, I kind of want to do like a cool glass tunnel thing. I need to go see if I actually left myself in a glass tunnel. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are jonesing for more content. More, more, just, just... You'd, you'd have me stream 24 hours straight today, wouldn't you? Which I, I I can't I can't I've already made I've already made some plans. Um, gonna go. In fact, this stream's gonna be a little shorter than than normal. Not by much, but uh, I, I have plans to go to let's see Inside Out two with the family. My wife reminded me today that uh, I had promised my daughter that a while ago. <laughs> like, right. So we bought tickets. Um, so. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna end about 30 minutes earlier than normal. So we got two and a half hours still. Bring tissue for real? No, no, no. Nobody told me it was gonna make me cry. Yeah, three diamonds per st I don't know why. Oh, this is from the pop-up shop. I can't, I can't. I'm a, I'm a softie who hide, who tries to hide being a softie. It's hard. Okay. There's something in my eye. Can you dig it? All right. Well, I've been warned at least. Why hide it? I don't know. I'm just... Can you dig it? <laughs> I don't always try to hide it. <laughs> Adacia? 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 I totally butchered your name. Thank you so much for the $4.20. No message. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry I butchered your name. It's what I do. 
Don't hide it. Real men aren't afraid to cry. I know. I, I do sometimes. Sometimes, I, you know. I like look at my Usually, my wife does cry easier than I do when it comes to like movies and stuff. Sonalumi. G. 59? Really? Sonalumi, what are you doing? $59. Can you dig it? What? Your streams have gotten me, uh, gotten me an impossible, uh, through an impossible few months, been a bright light and grounding force through some scary diagnosis. It's finally my 20th birthday. Tw wait, it's finally my 20th today. Your 20th birthday? And I wanted to thank you for everything. Here's $1 for every VOD I've watched this year. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. We got birthdays in the house. My goodness. Hal Nick is well. Jamal and... Sona Lumi, if I got that right, 20th birthday, watched 59 of my VODs this month, or this year. Wow. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, obviously, uh, with multiple birthdays. Anybody's birthday today, yesterday, tomorrow, this goes for you guys. It's all for you. <laughs> Hope you have a good one. And if, uh, yeah, if I don't see you over the weekend, I, that'll go for that, too. Um, we need more glass. I wanted to make a glass tunnel. Oh, good. I don't think this is going to be enough. I don't think this is going to be enough glass, guys. We're going to have to go dig a little bit, okay? Cool if we go dig a little bit. I got a fresh shovel. I got a fresh shovel. Let's go get some more glass. Let's make sure I don't have a bunch of chilling. No, I don't. All right, we got to go dig a little bit. Yeah, I could do the conduit thing, but I kind of want a cool tunnel. I just, it's, that's what I got in my head. That's what I, you know what I mean? Once something's in my head, I, that's what's happening. <laughs> we might need sponges. Yeah. I'm a little bit afraid I'm going to take water from the, well, I guess it wouldn't be too bad of a deal if I did. Uh, I accidentally soak up the water from the actual mob farm when I did that. A little more sandy ground. We had some sandy ground. The other what were we collecting all that sand for? Oh, the materials for this. Right. And then I used them all. So here we are again. What am I blowing up? I don't know. Is there anything Is there anything on the server that needs blowing up, guys? Is there any kind of like big project that could use some blowing up? Some excavating, maybe? Anything you guys can think of? B dubs his house. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. <laughs> Maybe a volcano of some sort. You know, how does how does one turn a mountain into a volcano anyway? How does how does one turn a mountain into a volcano? The only way I can think of is big bada boom. Big bada boom. So we're gonna need lots of bada booms. Uh, so today, I don't think we're gonna actually do a lot of uh, any any <clears throat> igniting of said bada booms. So hopefully that wasn't uh, clickbait title there. I, I said we just we let's make some boom booms, as in we need to craft them. <laughs> I don't. I guess that could be could, that could be misconstrued as we're going to be also uh, setting them off. Let me turn down my game sound a little bit. <laughs> but I want to collect as much as we can. I want to collect as much as we can. You guys know I got to save the big bada boom for the video, right? I got to save the big bada boom for the video, guys. I need I need it. I need I need that. I need that little bit of a little bit of anticipation. Build the hype. Right? <laughs> you guys know how it works. You guys know how it works. Blow one up. Okay, okay. Okay, I promise. I promise this. We will set off at least one TNT today in the volcano, yeah? Okay, I'll promise you that. You'll get one. You'll get at least one explosion, okay? I'll give you one. <laughs> It'll be so be worth the wait. Uh, get ready. It's going to be sick. <laughs> Not click ready. I'm making TNT. Yeah. Could be easy to think, oh, we're, we're actually making the big, we're making the blast. Big bada boom. Big bada boom. Name it. Name it. 
You guys know where that's from. You know what that's from. One of the best movies ever. That's right. That's right. Jamon came in first with the fifth element. Yes, yeah, right. Lot oh, so many people got it. So many people got it. Great movie, am I right? Fantastic movie. The title's plural, so two. Okay, two. Boom booms. Yeah, uh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Fair enough. Can you guys hear music today? Yeah? No? Yes. So that means it's about where it should be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is the perfect answer. I've learned, I've learned over the uh, decade of streaming that I've done is if I ask if people can hear the music and a few people say no and the rest say, yeah, it's good, it's fine, then that's perfect. <laughs> Lilo Dallas Multipass. Oh man. Oh, I always forget her name. What was her name? You know, she made up her own language for that movie, right? You guys know that little tidbit about Fifth Element? I wish I... Milo... Milo... What's her name? <sighs> Mila Jovich. Jo jo Jovovich. Jovovich. Yeah, that's why I can't remember her name. It's hard to say. <laughs> she did an amazing job. But yeah, apparently uh, that... That language... That she used in that movie, she made that up. That's what I heard. Oh, oh, right. She was Resident Evil as well, right? She was more known for Resident Evil than Fifth Element. I like the Resident Evils. For a while. And then it got it got a bit repetitive, I guess. I mean, they were cranking them out. How many Resident Evils did they end up making total? And when was the last one released? Fifth Element's getting re-released in theaters. I'm so there. I'm so there. Six Resident Evils. You watched them all. I think I probably watched up to Resident Evil 4. I was totally into it. And then about after 4, I was like, eh, okay. All right, that's enough. <laughs> you did like them all, though? Maybe I should give 5 and 6 a chance then. It's been years now. You stopped at 3. Stopped at Afterlife. Which one was Afterlife? I feel like that was three or four. Four, maybe. Did I plan on seeing the new Quiet Place movie? I didn't even know it was out until I was booking the tickets to see Inside Out today. Heck yeah, I want to see that movie. I don't know if I'll end up seeing it in theaters, though. It was four. I don't know if I'll end up seeing the new Quiet Place in theaters, though. Like, I might just wait on that one. I only do the theaters like once a month. Inside Out 2 was good. Excellent. I'm going to it this afternoon. We booked it at a we booked it at lunchtime on purpose so we could have an excuse to go to one of those theaters that serve food. <laughs> at your seat, you know? Like you have tables and stuff in front of you. Yeah, fancy. I know. I know we're splurging. That's why I only go once a month. <laughs> That's all I can afford. <laughs> those theaters are expensive. But it is a pretty cool experience to do once in a while. Yeah, you know the theaters where they serve food. Like, they have waiters come to, come to you at your seat and stuff. Like, it's a thing. Is that not a thing where you guys live? There's only a few near me that do that. But they are... Uh, so they give you the, the... The tickets usually are cheaper, right? So they let you see the movie for fairly cheap. Banking on... The fact that you're probably going to order food while you're there. And the food is what gets you. So if you were disciplined enough to go to the, one of these theaters and just not order food, which I think would be hard because, like, the waiter's coming by and always asking you if you want stuff, um, then you could save probably money by going to one of those. But I think I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. I wouldn't count on it. I, I, I wouldn't use that strat unless you have, like, super high discipline and, and are willing to uh, say no. I don't want anything but water, you know? Just sneak food in. I guess you could. I remember I remember my mom did that when I was a kid. 
when I was a kid, we'd go to the, oh my gosh, I'm so, so dating myself. We'd go to the dollar theater. Anybody had dollar theaters? Remember those? You could watch a movie for a dollar. And then, and then my mom would sneak in the uh, Twizzlers and M&Ms and stuff that, that she bought at the grocery store because it was cheaper than buying it at the theaters. You know, she'd just sneak it in her purse. <laughs> and then we would, and then we would eat them all as quiet as possible because we were st like still afraid we were going to get busted, you know? <laughs> the dollar theaters, they were awesome. There were always movies that were like already out on video. <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. I was going to say like VHS, like you could rent it at Blockbuster already, but you know, for a dollar, you could go see it on a big screen. Which is a way better experience, so why not? You know? For a dollar? That was that was amazing. <laughs> Took a son when he was only four when uh when the one near us closed. Ah, so got a, got a little bit of his experience before it closed, sounds like. <clears throat> I haven't looked, but I doubt those are around anymore, yeah. Blockbuster was awesome. I do miss it too. You know, I love the convenience of being able to go to streaming services and like watch any movie pretty much you want on demand. I think that's that's something like as a as as I was growing up, I was always like, man, that'd be super cool if we could just have everything at the touch of our fingertips. But then, but now I now like I love the convenience, but now I miss the nostalgia and the experience of walking up and down the aisles of Blockbuster, looking at every movie and reading the backs of them and uh you know like it was just it was so fun making a decision it's it's way different than just scrolling through one of these streaming services libraries you know on your tv you could physically like grab these boxes and, and uh see all the like we don't pay attention to the thumbnails and artwork of of like movie covers now right no, you just go straight to play the trailer to see, you know, based off the trailer, if it's something you might be into. You don't pay attention to any of that. Back at Blockbuster, you'd have to do, that's how you, that, that was your trailer. It was picking up the box and reading the back of it. That was the trailer. <laughs> that was the best you were going to get to decide if you wanted to watch this. You know? And whoever had to write those descriptions on the back, man, that must have been, that must have been a job. A stressful job. Knowing that you need to write something enticing or else people are not going to rent this video. <laughs> you know? They probably all went on to be uh, greeting card writers after after uh, VHS tapes and, and DVDs and stuff aren't, aren't really a thing anymore. I guess they still kind of are, though, aren't they? Like, can you still... They'd still sell Blu-rays and stuff. Physical form media for movies. So that job still exists. Somebody still has to do all that. Any of you guys actually buy physical media anymore? Anybody actually buy physical discs, CDs, Blu-rays, DVDs, whatever? Yeah, some people do. I read something the other day, I don't know if it's true, but they stopped manufacturing VCRs. They don't even make VCRs anymore, you know? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I feel like, I feel like that's crazy to say no one's manufacturing VCRs anymore. I feel like you, you, they always have some, but what of a market? Somebody's got VHS tapes sitting around and they're gonna wanna watch. Because VHS players, they don't last. What happens in those, the, the, the heads or whatever in the VHS players over time will, uh, won't work as well. Next thing you know, your VHS player, it's all just, you can't watch it. It's too, uh, the tracking on it never, never cleans up. <laughs> There's plenty of businesses now I've seen that will convert your physical media to digital for you. 
I think that's something that'd be pretty easy to do myself as well, right? Anybody convert your own digital, uh, your own physical media to, to digital? Maybe take all your, that's what I used to do. I took all my CDs when like, M, when, when Win, Winamp and stuff was out. I took all my CDs and used Winamp to rip the MP3s. Of course we lose quality. That part kind of stunk. There is ways to, to, to rip CDs and have it be like lossless, right? I have a, uh, I do have a binder full of DVDs that were, oh, no, I'm, never mind. I'm not admitting this. <laughs> I'm totally bought legitly from stores. So yeah, no wrongdoing. <laughs> Uh, now let me tell you, I, I don't mind uh, paying for Netflix. I, I'm still, I, I still owe them, I think. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do I watch WWE? I used to when I was like a teenager. I don't anymore. I used to I used to watch a little bit of WWE because my 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 friend at the time was really into it, and so I would just be hanging out with him a lot, and and he'd watch it, and then eventually I kind of like got into it a little bit, you know. But those were like Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, The Rock, Triple H, Undertaker, those days. So things were. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's, it's nostalgia, but I can't imagine it's as good as those days. It's daily soap opera for men. That's true. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it'll come on the TV and, and like, like we'll watch the we'll watch whatever um, Fox News, and then like TMZ comes on, and we're just eating dinner and stuff, so we don't bother to change the channel. And the next thing I know, on Friday nights, like WWE comes on, and and if you're not like into it, it can feel a bit cringe. You know what I mean? If you're not into it and you're passively watching wrestling, it can feel a bit cringe. But I've been on both sides of this coin, so I understand what it's like to be part of the fandom and, and like hearing that from somebody is probably not <laughs> fun to hear, you know? <laughs> Are we getting the TNT for Magic Mountain? Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know why I've been a little coy with the, this fact, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull up the mountain. <laughs> we're all tired of digging, okay? Like I looked at the progress of the mountain, and there's progress. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I know the people working on it are not having a super fun time. Trying to dig it out. So I thought, you know what? Let me let me put a little bit of my farm making abilities to the to to work here so that we can make this a little more fun. And yeah, I think I think we might need to check out Ethos TNT mining technique. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I also like the fact of just big bada boom. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, if you're worried about my shovel, don't worry. Uh, we've got a, a durability ping that will go off well ahead of time to let us know that we're, uh, we're, we're done with this shovel. Stop using it or else you can lose it. Don't use it or you lose it. <laughs> Ooh, it is Friday already. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This week flew by. It just absolutely flew by. I'm looking forward to next week being more normal. 
Tell me you saw the results of the court case. Now, so far, what, Doc released this morning? His footage of the court case? I have not seen that. I'm sure there'll be more POVs of it as well. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, B dubs will come out. That's the one I'm, that's the one I want to see. <laughs> That's the one I really want to see. Him sitting up in that chair, looking down on everyone, you know? Yeah, no spoilers, guys, if you've watched Doc's video already. Oh, we're all looking forward to seeing how that, that went down. I did not attend live in person. I was too busy building the creeper farm. And I kind of like the idea of waiting for an edited version of it anyway. So, I have no idea. Although, although I did, uh, I did go out, uh and have a few sodas with Skizzle Man last night, and he told me a little bit about it. <laughs> so, yeah, Doc's video is an hour and a half long, so I obviously didn't have time. <laughs> I did not have time. Yeah, Skizzle Man and I, we've, uh, we've not went and just hung out very much. It's always business. I mean, it was still business, but uh, the only time we really hang out is when we're getting together to record a podcast or whatever, so... We decided to, we decided to go spend a little bit of time last night, and yes, it was pretty much ninety percent business talk the entire time, but it was still good. It was a good time. We didn't invite Tango, no, because we specifically had Imp and Skiz business to talk about, so so we didn't invite Tango because that would have got awkward. <laughs> All right. Hey, Tango, how you doing? Uh, so, yeah, Impenska's podcast. What do you think we should do for the next season? Ooh. Ooh. Episode 100 of the Impenska's podcast is coming out seven days from today. And it's kind of a it's kind of a, a reflection point for us, you know, being episode 100. So we wanted to talk about it a little bit and see. You know, how we're feeling about the podcast, any changes needing made, stuff like that. So we had some we had some stuff to talk about. We had part two of uh, Hanging Out with Joel come out today, if you guys haven't seen that. It's definitely worth a watch. You get to know Joel. Joel. The person. Not not the character, Smallish Beans. You get to know Joel a lot better. Um, get, you know, get to understand him as a human a little better. This is enough sand. <laughs> That's enough sand for now. Let's go. It's nighttime. It was a good one. It was a good one. I always like part twos better almost than part ones of the podcast. I know that a lot of people, they've seen what they wanted to see out of part one and they don't come back for part two for some reason. But um, personally, I find part twos of the podcast uh, better because by that time, everyone's kind of relaxed and gotten into the flow state of the interview and it's much more natural it feels like we're part one there's still that kind of like nervous energy so like you get a much more relaxed sit down with everybody that's on the in the podcast but at part two personally i i feel that way all right guys i gotta tell you a secret i drank all my coffee before this like almost Wait, hold on. Might as well make it official. I drank all my coffee. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> so, this is an earlier break than normal, but I, I need to make sure that I stay hydrated. It is 110 degrees Fahrenheit outside uh, for the highs here where I live. And uh, I, I need to make sure I drink a lot of water. <laughs> I do not want to get dehydrated because I know how I feel if I get dehydrated. So let me go fill up my water real quick. This will be a quick break. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll pick. I'll even pick a, a quick song for you guys. Let's see. I really need to get some new stuff for you. But for now, we'll just do this one. I'll be right back.
Oh, yeah, always a classic. Always a classic. Look at that. Speaking of agreeing, working all day, <laughs> he was on the server working. Just left. I don't know why. I made a mistake. Mistakes were made, guys. I should have used, utilized that time <laughs> to uh, drop that in there. Do I have empty buckets? Ooh, 16 empty buckets. Uh oh, I got to get some of this stuff out of here. Let's refill. You missed season seven. Season seven was great. I love the energy of season seven. So many things happen season seven. Oops. So many things happen season seven. Mumbo for mayor. Sewer cats. Base swap. The original decked out. So many things. Grumbot. Yep. Season 7 was... The Prox mod... Was that this first season we had Prox mod? Season 7? Is that what it was? Do my kids call Skizzleman Uncle Skiz? No. They don't. <laughs> uh... Sand is for TNT. Some of it. Sure. But I also need glass. Yeah. We'll be we'll be digging more sand. Trust me. <laughs> I need glass. We're gonna do a little glass tunnel underneath. Underneath. So I'm using some. I'm using some. <laughs> I raised the base by one block. I went back and watched that. It's so wild the way I did it too. I just in between episodes raised the base by one block and so when i came back to episode 12 or whatever it was i'm like you guys noticed anything about the base anything different you notice anything different and i'm like show and then i eventually i think i show like a split screen here's before and here's after and it's one block up you know i'm surprised i did it that way Instead of like time lapsing the entire tear down and then time lapsing the entire rebuild, why would I do just a before and after static shot? I think like seeing me tear it down and rebuild it would have been so much cooler looking back on things. The only thing I can think of is that I had time where I couldn't record. You know what I mean? Like there was maybe guests at my house or something or I, maybe I was sick and I couldn't actually like record but even then well ooh did we have replay mod back then maybe I was tired seven season seven we went hard for sure <laughs> season seven was just like always making content always we did have replay mod back then yeah maybe I was just a noob I was just being a noob I kind of blew that one because that was so much work tearing that down and rebuilding it to come back and be like, so I moved the base up a block, like really undersells it, doesn't it? Backhead Eva, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Fun fact, did you know volcanoes exist through the solar system, throughout the solar system? As payment for using my brain, I think we need three TNT. <laughs> we need to set up three TNT. Throughout the solar system? Volcanoes throughout, a, throughout the solar system? What? I thought volcanoes, volcanoes formed because of tectonic plates crashing into the, each other. How is that working throughout the solar system? Same kind of idea? There's just volcanoes floating in space. What? What? <laughs> other planets have tectonic plates as well. Okay. That, I mean, that does make sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just flying through space and there's just a random volcano. Watch out. Watch out. We got to get through these asteroids. You get through the asteroid field and then you immediately enter the volcano field. <laughs> no. Okay. On planets. That makes much more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Orialis Laura, thank you so much for 100 bits. The first stream with Prox mod was the stream where B-dubs revealed snips. <gasps> oh, yes, yes, oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I remember, we got Prox mod, and we are like, this is the coolest thing ever. How can we How can we really show this off and, and like make use of this? And we're like, let's do a stream 
where we all hang out and use the prox mod and just goof. And that was the stream uh, where B-Dubs revealed snips. I remember that stream vividly. That was such a good stream. And we were also just excited, so excited for prox mod. And people were coming and going and it was just like a new shiny toy for us. And yeah, it really has made, it really has made a ton of difference in the way that we create content. It's a big deal. Okay, so I still have two boxes of sand I'll keep. The rest I'm smelting. I feel like we should go do something while we're waiting here. Let's go fix my shovel. A Kiwi Town. Remember a Kiwi Town? <laughs> you want a scar is another thing where you know you can't pronounce things properly. Uh, speaking of Scar, I really hope he's doing okay. He had his he had his uh, procedure yesterday. You probably saw, if you're on Twitter, you probably saw pictures of Scar and his his whole gown and cap and everything, getting preparing for his procedure. And and uh, I, I would hope it went well. Haven't heard from him yet. Um, he's obviously probably recovering, but uh, let's all keep him in our thoughts and prayers and stuff. If uh, you're religious, uh, you know, wish him a speedy recovery so we can get our good good times back. Uh, sooner than later he's a he's such a trooper keeping such a positive attitude going through what he goes through good job i got too many music right, are you gonna bop it up i can bop if you want it you can bop if you want to if you leave our friends behind but if your friends don't bop and if they don't bop then there's no friends of mine you can bop if you want to if you leave our friends behind but if your friends don't bop and if they don't bop then there's no friends of mine so we just go bop bop such a short range on this thing i couldn't move she is she is so addicted all right well she's on her training arc because she's gonna here i'm just gonna do this <laughs> don't worry we're not listening to the whole song again but there we go all right i can bop if you want the last one didn't fix my shovel okay. oh it hit the pressure plate that's gonna go off again when i went into free cam mode not free cam when i went into f5 Wherever the camera goes is where your your ears are um, in the game. So you probably saw like I'm here. You come up if you right? want to. You can't hear the music. Look, you go into F5. You can't hear the music. So we just go bop bop. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> what prompted the song? Whenever I pull XP from that machine, it plays the song. It might be a bit much. <laughs> Magic prompts the song. All right. Is this enough glass for now? Nobody's on the server, so this is going to get unloaded. Unloaded. I'm, you know what? I'm going to bring... I was... Ooh, do I want to bring... Sponges? So we just go... Bop, 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 <laughs> I can lean my ear up against the wall. Do we have sponges that I kept? Did 
Did I keep sponges? If I did, where did I put them? Where did I put them? Where? See, I... Oh, there. No, not there. There? No. There. No, I already looked there. In the sponge chest. There's no sponge chest. Shoot, where did I put them? <laughs> Why is there blackstone in there? I could have sworn I kept some. Utilities chest? I gotta be careful about this one. I have to be... There's four. Okay, that'll do for now. Utilities chest. Is that what you called my junk drawer? Is that what you called my junk drawer? <laughs> the utilities chest. I like that. <laughs> no? Nothing. Alright. The loom chest. Oh, 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 you're probably right. No, you're right. Yes, you are. Ooh, good one. Good one. Good one. Utilities chest. That makes sense. So I my brain led me to this one. Which is weird, because this is like gear. Doesn't make a lot of sense. And then I went to this one because it's ocean stuff. And I thought, oh, ocean monument. We get the sponge from there. If I was to do this again, because obviously this wasn't my first choice. You had to tell me. Uh, I think I would probably put the sponge in there when I'm done. Or no, probably my under chest. Probably my under chest. <laughs> the garbage chest. It's not the utilities chest. The garbage chest. Hey, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I only have one garbage chest at the moment. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I forgot the... I forgot the hoe. I forgot the hoe. Clothe the wild dog. Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Appreciate you. You guys sure the music's okay? Volume-wise? What music? It's actually lower than normal for me. I don't have a hoe. What is wrong with me? Wait, hold on. I got it. I had a... I had a box of gear. But why is this always a thing where I can't find a hoe? A little quiet on mobile. That should be in the tool chest. Am I making a fancy hoe? Because I'm about dead. Should we make a fancy hoe? Enchant it and stuff? No music. All right, let me do this. Let me turn Spotify's volume back up. There. Just in time for Lupus. Mr. Nocte. Perfect. Who uses this song in the videos? This feels like a scar thing, doesn't it? I keep making fancy hoes and losing them. I know what's wrong with me. Is this, does Scar use this for, part, this isn't his super fast build mode. Two sticks, two diamonds. Skiz probably took my hoe. Oh, I gave it to Skiz, is that what happened? We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I swear I've heard this before in, in one of the Hermit's videos. When's the next Phasma stream with gigs? Probably Tuesday. Probably Tuesday. Tuesday's our typical Phasmo day. Oh, we almost played a different game. Yeah, go away. Jeez. Oh, we almost played a different game on Tuesday. We were really close playing a different game and then no, no, no. Dude, this last Tuesday, the update came out. The Tuesday before, we almost, almost played a different game. Okay, please be, like, efficiency as well? Yes! There we go. There we go. And you know what? You know what? I've been saving this for a very special occasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Let's go. Uh huh. <laughs> no, that wasn't my fishing book. Was it? No, I don't think so. I think that was. I think that was just a regular mending book that I bought. I, I would have framed if I still had my regular mending book from fishing. I probably applied that to the first thing I could. I should have kept it for for nostalgia. Monsters nearby. No, there's not. Oh. <laughs> this guy is pretty elusive out there. You can't see him, where is he? There you go. Get dead. Now I can. Now I can sleep. Take a second. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I hope that's not the. I mean, that's a waste. All right. Okay. No. 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 It's not going crazy. I, I just need to. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he fancy. Oh, he dead. <laughs> Come in in the water, guy. You're gonna. You're gonna die. He's gonna die anyway. But look at him. He's he's all dressed up. I like his outfit. He had a cool outfit. Don't you think? Look at him. He's styling. Do it. Is the music too loud now? Hey Sam, thanks for the 100 bits. Mr. Shepard. It's good now. Okay. Well, you guys are saying that because the music is, is is bopping. It's a good bop. If the music stops bopping, then. All right. So this is the volume it's been at. I thought it was maybe a tad loud, so I'd turn it down, but it seems good. Uh, it's a good compromise. All right. We keep it there. We gotta do this. Nice. Noise. I know my game sounds a bit. I'm gonna do the sponges and then I'll get the glass. Hello. Let's see. Cereal Scatterbrain. I love the name. <laughs> oh no, I'm doing this the, the, the hard way. Music a little loud but good compromise. Mm-mm-mm. I was wondering, I got the streams, although he's night owl. Oh, okay. <laughs> Side conversation, I'll stay out of it. Yeah. On top of scaffolding, risky. Oh, cause if I hit the, uh, if I hit this last scaffolding, I could cause a problem. Oh, don't worry, I'm a pro. I'm a pro. I would never, I would never break all this scaffolding. Right, wrong portal. <laughs> Is this another Lupus Nocte? I got a lot of Lupus Nocte songs. I think I, I think uh, his vibe goes really well with the cyberpunk theme of the season and stuff. I mean, I've always liked his music. I was jealous. I, I was looking for a Lupus Nocte song to use as my time lapse music, and Scar and I think Pearl were already using the ones I wanted. <laughs> oh, wrong way, wrong way. All right, we got our glass. We've got our sponges. Uh, what do I do with the rest of the material? I think it's in a barrel though, right? Where did I, no. Where did I put, I put it here, didn't I? Hold on, there was some stuff I needed from that. I put it in here. Uh, there was some stuff. I want, I don't need any more stone. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, the rest can stay behind. Could use. Hold on. Let me let me consolidate a little bit here. These are a mess. That didn't seem to work, but it did. Uh, yeah, I'll keep those under pearls. I keep that. All right. Now I got an empty, empty one. Perfect. I could consolidate these as well. Hold on. Actually, let me just put those away. 
are done building the farm. What happened to Beefstick? Oh, he's, he's, he's out roaming the pasture, you know? Now the door opened and he took off. He's like, peace. Peace, I'm out. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> he's out roaming around the city. He's doing great. He's checking out the cyberpunk city. He's having a grand, good old grand time. I had some extra stone as, la as well. Okay. Let me, put, let me just put it away. We'll clean up a little bit. Clean up after ourselves, you know? Project's, project's over. We did it. Big old, big old farm. We love it. <laughs> I, he's fine. He's fine. Don't, don't, don't get the wrong idea. He's, he's, he's living his best life. Free range beef stick. Yep. Okay. Every time, every time I open this chest, I get really nervous. I'm going to blow it. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. I mean, conduit would be nice for as we're building this. Hold on, hold on. How do you make a conduit? Anyone? How do you make a How do I need to... How do I... Can you... Can I make... How do you make... Oh. How do you make those? How do you make those? These blocks. Can I make it from this? It's been a while since I played with Prismarine. Oh, it's the shards. No. No, wait. No. This works for conduit as well? These blocks? Oh, wait. It was nine. Ooh, that's a lot. It takes nine. Nah, look. It's, it's not on the... It's not on the thing. All right, we'll just use this if it works. All right, and then I need, oh, it's the Nautilus shells I'm not gonna have. Okay, this song, I like this one. It's another Lupus song. Eight Nautilus shells. I have one. Do you think green would mind? Do you think green would mind if I borrowed some Nautilus shells? A gem as well? Does Ren sell conduits? So the server, anybody feel the lag on the server today? Let me check. The FPS is going crazy or something. Uh, yeah, 100 FPS. That's, oh, that's, yeah, there's some serious lag going on the server today. I don't know. Things are crazy. Man. Uh, shoot, where, where would it be? I don't, know where, I don't know where they would be. Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Come on, Jem. I don't know if she's as big of a fisher person as you guys imagined. There's no... Let's check, Let's check somewhere else. I'm pretty sure I left seven Nautilus shells the other day. In a chest over here. I was just walking by and I thought, you know what? These are clogging up my pocket. Let me go ahead and put these away. Oh, he's got a whole conduit already made. Uh, I can't remember which chest I put it in. Do you guys remember? Anybody remember which one I, I put it in? What was it? How do you get in? Okay. Wait, wait. Oh. Uh, we're so close. We're so close. Oh, we are so close. What else you got? What else you got? Come on now. Yeah, we're halfway there. We're doing great. We're doing great. If we go to the uh, secret place, I think I think we can we can get in. Uh, I forgot how to do that. No. Hold on. Stand on plank and put something in the composter. 
Okay, okay. What, put what in the composter? What what works? Wheat. Hence the big old wheat farm. Okay, here we go. What? 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 He blocked it off. Uh oh. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I know how to get in still. Totally do. Hold on. I got this. Oh. Wait, what are these? Aha! You can't stop me. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> we made it. All right. Naughty shells. Yeah, he's got plenty. He's fine. He won't miss those. Thank you. Thank you, Green. Secret entrance. Bang. All right. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. All right. We do have our own heart of the sea, though. Yeah. We got our own heart of the sea. That I'm not. That I'm not lagging from anybody. That's rude. That's a bit much. Hey, beef's on. You guys been seeing all the uh, tweets about TCG season two? They call it season session two, uh, whatever. You guys been seeing? Yeah, look at that. I knew exactly where it was. Oh, look. I got the right blocks. New cards, new TCG cards are being created, like as we speak, and uh, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. There's a lot of good ones. Wait till you guys see mine. Uh, I've got a couple uh, previews, drafts, if you will, that I've already seen in the works. I don't know how much has been announced, so I'm like. I can't say how many cards and I mean, you guys tell me what you know about the cards and then I'll and then I'll give you more information. <laughs> there we go, conduit. Wait. Apple Struda, how do you know mine's looking amazing? Did they tweet it already? Did they tweet mine out already? <gasps> oh, did you get a sneak peek? Because you're in the you're in the oh, are you in the thing? Are you in the thing? Are you in the, the little group that has sneak peeks? Hmm? <laughs> oh, you're working on one. Nice. Yeah, Beef is uh Beef is announced he's gonna be a father. Baby on the way. That's amazing. I congratulated him in Discord the other day. You need assigned kids. <laughs> Hello, the wild dog. Thank you for the 100 bits. Gross Jr., thanks for the 100 bits. Just read in a Facebook group that you, Skiz, and Tango are called the Arizona Dads. Love it. Yeah. All three of us live in Arizona, and all three of us are dads. So we've get, we've gotten coined Arizona Dads uh, nickname. <laughs> yeah, big congrats to Beef. That's exciting times. Going to be a father. Beef's going to make a great dad. Beef's going to make one heck of a dad, I can tell. Pacer Mom, thanks for the 300 bits. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you. Cornish Davy Bob, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Glad you can make a 1,000 bits. Jeez, thank you so much. I'm glad you can make the stream as well. Okay, we're going. We're finally going. We're going to do stuff today. Productive. Let's be productive. Zits, a.k.a. Arizona Dads and the British guy. <laughs> oh, man. I was just about to start whining about how Zed needs to come to America again so we can hang out. But I just hung out with him a few months ago uh, <laughs> for the, the charity event and then post-charity event road trip that a bunch of us took. Where am I? Why? This is not where I'm supposed to be. 
That was such a good time. That was such a cool time that a bunch of the hermits got together and went on a bus, basically. <laughs> Drove across a few states and then just chilled in a uh, Airbnb slash VB VRBO, whatever you want to call it, uh, rental house uh, on the east side of the U.S. And just chilled for a few days and, and just hung out and, and just it was so cool. It was so cool. Such a good time. Would love to do that. I'd love I would love to, ultimately I would love to do that once a year. That would be my ideal thing. If we could do that once a year, I think it'd be really cool for just, you know, bonding, team building experience. Hopefully I got this right. <laughs> the magic school bus. Yeah, we we're on the magic school bus. Oh no, did I leave myself enough room for this? I don't build a lot of these, so... I wouldn't be surprised if I'm doing this wrong. We got the connection piece. Oh, I didn't bring enough! <laughs> I didn't bring enough! Oh no! Really? How many do you need? Do you not need the corners for real? These don't. These aren't needed. I thought they were. No. <laughs> you need exactly forty-two. So I was. Wait. So can I do these? As, like leave corners off of this as well? These ones? Or no? Mixed results. Some people saying I need them. Need corners. Here we go. Has to be five by five. Okay, let's put this in so I at least have something, right? Does it give me something? Yeah, it gives me something. Something's better than nothing last I checked. <laughs> but what does it give me? It doesn't give me like a, a strength, but what it will do is we'll lose it early, right? If we don't have the full. Yeah. So the real question is, do I still have it here? Yeah, it, it's it's good. We're good. We're good. I don't mind if the range is a little bit lower. We just need it to get through this project. And then we won't need it anymore. Sweet. Good deal, guys. Good deal. Um, let's build this out. Up, up. I think I'll go there. Oh, love it. We can work underwater. Always wanted to do that. Uh, right now, we're just working on a way to get to the storage for the gunpowder. We've completed a amazing creeper farm. Oh, hello, mouse. My mouse just disconnected. That's scary. Uh, we completed a really cool creeper farm. And now we've got to do underground storage for it. Now, let's see. Maybe we should figure out how much storage we're going to do first. Oh, oh. Hi, friend. <laughs> Hello. Snuck up on me there. I wasn't expecting any guests. Thought we were out here all by ourselves. Just came from the podcast. Catching up part two with uh, with Joel. Nice. Hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, such a great time. Such a great time hanging out with Joel. He's a good dude. Anybody that watched the podcast, you can tell, right? I think that's the best part about having guests on the podcast is like we get to see this almost off camera, but yet still on camera uh, version of our friends, of our hermit friends, right? Uh, and and other friends, of course. But you get us, you get to kind of catch a different a different side of uh, of. Of all the peeps and I think that's been the best the best part is because there's a lot to us outside of what we do on camera on video you know I mean typically we're like in character and stuff and uh, you don't really get to know the real us and, unless you know streams you know I think I think uh, 
I think on streams you guys have gotten a good chance to get to know me at least, but not everybody streams, so those podcasts are a good way. Should I tile this back? I feel like I should. Let's do like this, you know, how you do the zigzaggy. Bang. Bang. That way it doesn't stick out too much and I can still get to those top ones. And then I think I'll do one more layer just so that the front chest... Yeah, and then these will drain down. That'll be good. I think that that's a good setup right there. I don't know if I have enough hoppers and stuff for this. So if we do that, then we should see... Yeah, they're all draining from the top. So you typically wouldn't have to grab from there anyway. And now we know what level we need to have the glass at. Perfect. Okay. I think that'll be good. This, this amount of storage would probably allow... 24 hours of AFK before it fills up, I would guesstimate. That should be enough. Streams have a totally different vibe. They do. They do. And I think, um, I think that's good. I think that's good. Y you have your choices of how you want to consume your content or what kind of content, what kind of content you want to consume. Do you want the, um, you know, the more fast-paced, cut, a lot, lot of stuff gets done, uh, high production value videos that you can get over on our main channels? Or do you like the, the chill vibe of just hanging out and seeing, like, all the, all the actual, like, quote-unquote work that goes behind what we do? And the more, like, get to know us personally and hear our life, our actual, like, life stories and like, other experiences from in-game and stuff that you wouldn't normally get in a video because it wouldn't... It wouldn't be deemed as, like, good content. You know what I mean? So you guys get choices. You can be here for live for the stream. You can go catch catch the streams at your own convenience on my second channel. Or uh, if it's just too much to consume. Because, you know, we do this... Well, when I, on a good week. <laughs> on a good week, we do uh, at least three streams for three hours during the week, right? Do that right. Um, so that's a lot. That's a lot. I get how that could be too much for people. So if it's too much, you always got the, the main channel just for like the recap of everything that was done. I'm hoping next week we'll have a good week. <laughs> I really am. I really am. I would love to be back on like a legit schedule next week. I miss it. Both is good. Yeah. <laughs> is that a meme? Do you want this or this? Yes. <laughs> Mess it up. It's kind of hard when you're swimming. Just keep swimming. Just oh, we missed top of the hour. Holy smokes. What's up, McBean? 4th of July next week. But 4th of July is on Thursday, man. Right? I don't uh, I don't have a stream scheduled for Thursday, so I'm kind of in the clear. I'm kind of in the clear to, to keep to my actual stream schedule next week. And even if so, I, I would potentially think about streaming that morning and then just like doing the barbecue and swimming and stuff in the afternoon or something. Yeah, I miss Desco bird time. Also, also refill water and bio break type. I'm going to stay. Do you think it's safe for me to stay underwater for an entire break? Shall we find out? I've already been assaulted by a drown once. So this is risky. This is risky business. No risk and no biscuit. What do we got for you to, to play, though? I don't know if I have a video for you guys to play while I go. Hermit Gang's too long. You know what? I'm just going to be real quick and not even play a video. Uh, I'm just going to go refill my water. I'll crank up the music a little bit for you guys. How about that? Be right back.
All right, we're back. I survived. Go me. There we go. I survived. You guys wanted me to die, didn't you? Be honest. Be honest. You wanted me to die. You were really hoping I'd get assaulted while I was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you. I know you. We like the drama. <laughs> we like the drama. <laughs> I don't blame you. I would have been. I would have been also rooting for a, a drown to spawn nearby. I come back and all my stuffs just despawning. I wasn't gone that long. I uh, I drank half my water bottle just in that one time. In that little time that I went and filled it up earlier. So uh, which which part of Inside Out Two is the tearjerker? I might have to go to the bathroom during that time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> never mind. No, no, no. Don't spoil the movie. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Got a birthday in the house. Looking for Mysteria with the birthday. Got back from a trip to London. Watching a musical called... Is it Hades Town? Or Hades Town? Probably Hades Town. Never heard of the musical? But a whole trip to go see a, mu a musical? That's pretty awesome. And uh, happy birthday to you. Birthday. Hope you have a good one. I haven't decided yet how I want to do this. It's probably something I should decide right now. Do I want a big open platform or, or glass tubes like tunnels? To each one of these. What do you guys think? I could just make like walkways, so basically have like an H, right? See, we're kind of like making like an H and then have a cross one to go, or just have like a big open room. You like the tubes? You think the tubes would look a little better? Okay, I think I think I agree. Now I want to have three block space, right? Got to have three block of space to walk through. And that means we could just do like this. And then we need sidewalls as well. Like this would be, this could be a sidewall. That's fine. But then now this needs to be. And then now the question is, do I make it a square like that? Considering that I've already placed the blocks in their glass, I think the decision's been made. <laughs> right? Have we learned our lesson from the uh, crying obsidian? Should we go all the way to the this, the roof probably, yeah? So just do this. Ah, uh, watch, I'm gonna need more glass than I made. I knew it was gonna be a lot. So just do like this. So that would be kind of like one tube. That'll work, I think. This isn't really that big of a deal. It's just a way to, to collect. In fact, having the conduit probably would have been just fine, but I think this is a little cooler. Oh, see, this is why. This is why you don't want to make mistakes. This thing's going to be totally tubular, man. Feeling me, being I heard uh heard some sicknesses running through it. Through the fam. You guys all good? I don't know if that's true. My wife just is on Facebook a lot and says things. <laughs> At least I didn't use crying obsidian. Glass isn't much better to be honest. <laughs> We'll find our center point. So yeah, I won't ever have to open that top chest, I don't think, because it's always going to drain down. And I can't see myself clearing out all of this in one go anyway. You good? The only one means you're the world's worst caregiver. Has to take care of them. Oh no. So you, everyone got sick with you and now you have to take care of them. Oh man. Being sick sucks the worst I just went through it 
And it had been a while since I'd been sick, so I, I kind of like, kind of forgot how much it sucks. <laughs> oh, why did I do a two, a two wide there? Is this the center? Hold on. No, this is the center right here. The right side of the portal is the center. All right, so ignore that that column there. That's not actually the center. Okay, that goes the right way. Here, let's draw this out. Oh, that's weird. Oh, they're good now? They're better? Okay, excellent. Got through the worst part. It's good to hear. Okay. It's, it's barely, barely tubes here, but it works. All right. Hello? I keep going in swim mode on accident. What am I building? This is just a little underwater way to get to our storage here. Did I do that again? Go too far? Nope. Oh, I haven't built this one. I was like, what's wrong with this one? So, something's different. I don't know what. We don't have enough, ho enough hoppers. Being sick when not in the winter seems wrong. I know, right? Like, usually I don't worry about being sick until it starts to get cold out and stuff, but then somehow it hit it hit in the summer. Of course, I, I went on a cruise. So, like, people have cooties, you know? <laughs> 4,600 people all in the same boat. Yeah, it was pretty much inevitable, I think. <laughs> yeah, for me. Okay. Yeah, we're going to run out of glass, too. We're going to run out of glass and hoppers and everything. How's Metro Mayhem going? Ah, it's 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 on pause for the moment because I got excited about the bunker and the tunnels. Have you guys? Oh wait, just wait, wait until my video comes out. I'm hoping. I was gonna. I was hoping the video would come out tomorrow, but now I'm going to the movies today. So um, Sunday is what I'm shooting for. Sunday, Sunday. I'm pretty sure. Sun. We'll hit Sunday. We're gonna nail that. Sunday. Uh, next episode's gonna come out. You guys will get an update on the tunnel to the bunker, the stuff I did in there. It's so fantastic if you haven't seen it uh, in a stream already. I'm in love. I'm in love with that bunker tunnel. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to go to it every once in a while just to appreciate it. It's a, it's a weird thing to get excited about considering it's going to be a low traffic area. Like, literally used once in the lore of the city. But... What we did with it, I'm really proud of. Hold on a second. Did I do this right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whew. Thought I messed that up. Oh, yeah. I just blocked the, the way out, didn't I? I blocked the way out. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Okay. No problem. It's a good thing this is Minecraft. One, two, three blocks go there. Okay. This is the way out. <laughs> Whoopsies. Kind of need a way out. Oh, I love glass. Episode on your birthday. Perfect. There you go. Happy birthday. Your birthday present. An episode from me. That's right. I was, I was thinking of you the entire time. I was scheduling the uh, release and everything. <laughs> it's overdue, to be honest. I've had so much going on. It's been, it's been too long since my last episode. So... Whose birthday? Another birthday? Birthday you yo for Rikung. Absolutely. Your boyfriend Rikung. Uh, this is a birthday you yo going coming out from uh, going out from uh, Lexi birthday to Rikung. I know I butchered names. Birthday, you, yo, Hope you have a good one. Should I pause the music for that? Whoa! Hello! Thunderstorm. Why'd you guys let me place all these blocks? 
Are we blowing up the mountain today? No, we're getting we're getting all the TNT made today. Is the idea? Is the plan? Maybe if this tunnel wasn't taking so long to build, <laughs> we need to be crafting TNT like now, like right now. Oh no, there's no way we made enough glass, guys. I didn't expect this. This is a bit much. We're in, we're in, we're in real Barney here. And then, of course, I didn't make this how I needed to make it. Let's get rid of that. Minecraft lighting is loud. I know, right? It's scary. I know. I'm. Oops. I'm boxing in corners and stuff that I don't need to box in, but it looks better. So. Oh my goodness. I feel like I should sleep through this. Do I need to sleep? Do I sleep off the thunderstorm or do we like it? It's good ambience. I don't know. Typical like when it's raining out. I get tired and don't want to do anything. You like thunder? Am I gonna set up an autocrafter to make TNT? Um, I wasn't planning on it. TNT's a, a recipe that has to have like proper timings and stuff, right? I haven't played around with that kind of stuff. Could be a fun project. What's this? What's this? I don't need this. I don't need you. Go away. I've ever played Terraria. No, I have not. I've heard plenty of good things, though. Woof! Thunder reminds you of power outages. Something's... There we go. I guess I'll just ladder out at the end. Okay. Ugh. It's time for a new computer. <laughs> I keep getting hitches. My computer is thoroughly melted now. It's It's been thoroughly melted. JJ is here with an amazing $13.37. Can you dig it? So thank you so much for helping me through the hardest six months I've had in my life. Sorry to hear that you had a, uh, to go through a hard time there, JJ. I've been watching your streams from YouTube to sleep. Glad to catch one live too. Uh, it has been a steep dive since I discovered HC at the start of the season. Thank you. You just discovered Hermitcraft. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, welcome to the Hermitcraft community. It's good to have you here. Um, and uh, hopefully things are, are better for you. Glad the, uh, the content and the streams and stuff have, have helped you get through whatever it is you were going through. Thank you so much for hanging out. And thank you so much for the message. And thank you so much for the donation. You're amazing. Speaking of better sleep, guys. You guys ready for old man story of the day? See, that's why you guys watch me. Especially if you're younger. Those of you that are younger, you, you watch me so that, so that you can be warned of what life is going to be life like once you're once you're old like me. Boomer story time. Okay. I'll keep playing some blocks and try to tell the story, even though I'm not good at multitasking, as you guys all, all know if you watch my streams enough. Um, so speaking of sleep. Yeah, I'm about to roast myself. No, it's not a roast. It's 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 a part of life. It, it's, it's a part of life. You'll, you'll see. So you guys know I've struggled with, with sleep in particular um, for a while now. I've had some very very bad um, sleep issues where I wasn't getting good night's sleep. So a lot of times I was like insomnia and stuff. Uh, so I I actually went and saw a, a sleep expert to see if we could could solve the issue. Because sleep's a, apparently a very important thing. In case you guys didn't know. Uh, sleep's pretty important. Like you need to you need to sleep well to recharge your batteries and stuff, you know? Recharge your body. 
Uh, and apparently it's also important that when you sleep, you get oxygen to your brain. Apparently that's important. And apparently that's something that wasn't happening for me. I wasn't getting, I wasn't getting a lot of oxygen to my brain. Uh, because I was diagnosed with severe sleep apnea. And basically every night I was suffocating myself. So... <laughs> so, yep. Did the sleep apnea tests and stuff. And, uh, and it was decided that I needed, I needed some help. Uh, so that I got I got the I got the CPAP machine the machine you know the the yes look like Darth Vader at night with this contraption hooked up to my face. I finally I got one finally came, and for the past four nights now, I've been using it. First night of course it was awkward. Second night was a late night because we had the concert. Uh, we went to the uh, Melanie Martinez concert that night, so that was a late night for me. And uh, and then the last couple nights have been have been normal, normal nights. Went to bed at a decent time. Uh, used the machine and and, uh, and the thing, and I got used to it. And I feel fantastic. <laughs> it's like night and day difference. I my brain feels normal for the first time in a long time. <laughs> like. I woke up, I don't have headaches, I don't have brain fog, it is, my energy's already better, I can tell. I just feel very old having to sleep with this thing, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's good for me. It's, it's been, it's been, it's been good so far. So I'm looking forward to see, see how things keep going with it. Um, this could be, this could, this could be a game changer for me, guys. It really could, because... I was struggling. I, I, I was struggling. <laughs> my brain, my brain was struggling. So hopefully I'll be fairly like normal human being from now on. We'll see. We got a tango in the house. He logged on. That's what happened. Hey tango. So yeah, if uh. <laughs> If you're in the same spot as me and and uh, struggling with like sleep and stuff, it's worth checking out because I let it go for so long that uh, I feel kind of stupid. Like, why didn't I take care of this so long, like a while ago when I already knew it was going to be a problem? Oh, I made the perfect amount of chests, apparently. Just not enough hoppers. Look at that. Now I'm stuck outside of this thing. But yeah, it's worth looking into if, if you feel like it might be a problem for you too. Because every day, every day, I would wake up and I'd just have like headaches and brain fog. And, and uh, <laughs> I make the joke like I, I felt like I was just getting dumber and dumber like every every day. <laughs> so if you witness some of that on stream, you know? <laughs> so, so far so good. Uh, uh, it's good. Almost ready for the sponge. I need a few more hoppers to close this up. I think we do actually have enough glass. <laughs> Darth Vader mask, don't make me jealous. You know, my, um, my, if you move around a lot, I move around just fine with the, uh, with the thing on. Like, I'm on my left side, I'm on my back, I'm on my right side, I'm all over the place. And it, it's fine. <laughs> my wife so far is like, she likes it. <laughs> she said I'm quieter now, so <laughs> it's also helped my wife sleep better. I had to do the full face mask so far because uh, I was sleeping with my mouth open a lot. So just don't sleep. You gotta sleep. I can't imagine that's healthy at all. Sleep is important, guys. Don't 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 sleep on it. I tried. Maybe, 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 I, maybe I need a few more nights with the CPAP for the brain to fully work. I don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, more uh, a higher functioning brain uh, might lead to more puns, more dad jokes. That's exciting, right? You here for it? You're here for it. Hey, 
You may, you guys may act like you don't like these dad jokes and puns and stuff. I'm sorry to tell you this, but studies actually show that they're good for you. Yep, that's right. Dad jokes are good for you. There's, there's scientific studies out there. Trust me, I've researched it. Hearing dad jokes is good for young and it's good for, it's good for everyone actually. <laughs> yeah, the, the CPAP machine, I got a super quiet, super quiet. I heard lots of horror stories about CPAPs and being loud and stuff. It's not louder than the air purifier I have in my room. So all good. Is 16 hoppers enough? Or are we going to come right back in a couple minutes? I hope not. Old ones allowed? Yeah. I obviously I got a newer one because I they just get they just sent it. So um Yeah, if you got an old one, it might be worth looking into trying to get an upgrade. I don't know how that works. Uh mine was covered by insurance. <laughs> but in a very weird way. I only needed eight hoppers. Okay, perfect. Um so insurance covered mine. But in a very weird way, listen. You would think the insurance would just be like, hey, your medical professional told us you needed this, so here you go. You have insurance for a reason. Instead, th they kind of did that. They're like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll pay for it and we'll send it to you. But it's on a lease. Like a pay to, a lease to own, right? So I have to report back to my insurance company like daily to prove that I'm actually using it. So the machine like keeps data, keeps statistics and has a, a cellular modem in it <laughs> that sends to the insurance company to prove that I'm using it. And if I stop, if I miss a certain amount of nights each month, they'll take it back. What? <laughs> so weird. Yeah, and then I get all my sleep data every night to prove that I'm using it. It's so weird. I, I was like blown away like, what? Why? Just, obviously it's been proven that I need this thing. Of course I'm gonna use it. Why would you care? Why would you care if I was actually using it or not? Anyway, I thought it was weird. Well, if you go on vacation for weeks, well, it's, they have like a percentage, and I guess if you knew you were going to go on vacation and it was going to be over that percentage, then you'd probably want to work that out with them, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's always tough doing this because it will eventually like re... Oh, it's going to be so dark outside the conduit. I'm not sure that good way to do this we're gonna lose the water up there is my biggest concern right here what if we just spam this is that dumb probably I'm trying to I'm trying to do this in a way that doesn't lose the water up there but we need to do top first see how like kind of floods back in I think this will work I think yeah we're getting it we're getting it lower man it's so dark though Poor cod. I know they should have. Uh, they should have thought about that before they spawned in here. <laughs> they should have known this was coming. Uh, right. I blame them. They caught a bit a lot smarter. They. They. They cod have. have. See, I told you. I told you guys. I'm on fire now. It's happening. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. Listen, don't underestimate a man who gets oxygen to their brain on every single night, okay? I have oxygen to my brain now. Expect amazingness. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, why is my viewership number dropping? Where are you guys going? Stop. Okay, I won't do it so much. <laughs> Come back. Come back. 
I blew it. <laughs> my love of dad jokes has uh, ruined my career. <laughs> oh, 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 we were so close. Oh, uh, all right, we're gonna have to go dry these out. Oh no, did I lose my hoe again? <laughs> Since when does sponges sound like that? Did they change the sound? Misplacing three hoppers on the outside of the last chest, did I? Oh yeah, the bottom. Thank you. Thank you, Drac. How you doing, man? Good to see you here. Um, thank you. Yeah, we'll get those. Um, we're so close. Like that's literally all that's left. I do need to I do need to sponge it so the chests are okay. Okay, what did I do with that? What did I do with it? Did it end up in one of these boxes again? Because that crazy mod. You hate when you lose your hope. I, I, uh, I can't seem to keep mine ever. Wait, hold on. Ugh, stop. Where did it go? Seriously, guys, where did I put it? Did I put it away in my inner chest? I did. Okay. We're gonna need ladder or something in here, I think. Oh, this thing is great. Let's uh, put a little torchy torch up here. I thank you, thank you. It wasn't my under. I need, uh, I need to make sure I always put it in the under chest though, because for some reason I, I just lose my hose. I, I think maybe you guys are right. I think Skiz has been borrowing my hose. I don't know what for. Just, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Floor lighting. Yeah, let's place the hoppers first. Uh, did we get all 36? No, wait, wait, we're missing, we're missing two. I had 36 before they're there. <laughs> There's a joke in there, so I'm gonna stop it. Stop it. This kid just refuses to leave my hose alone. Can't trust that guy. <laughs> uh. Insim is streaming, yeah, cool. He's, uh, that guy, I, I like him a lot. I like watching his streams. He's, he's pretty cool. He's pretty funny. He likes all the horror games. I, I'm, I'm like, outside of Minecraft, I'd say horror game might be my, my favorite genre. And maybe just because of Phasmo, but sorry, Creeper, you can't come in. Uh, we need to check the water flow here. Make sure we didn't mess anything up with the sponges. Looks like we did a good job, guys. I'm not seeing any disrupted water flow. Ah, and that was my main concern with doing those sponges. All right. Sweet. Good job. What's the gunpowder for again? We are making uh, TNT to help with the uh, excavation of Magical Mountain. Big bada boom. Tired of digging. The mountain crew's been chipping in, but I think we're all tired of digging. So. Is the sun sponge sound different on Java than Bedrock, maybe? For you, you Bedrock players? Knives too informal. Thank you so much for the $4.20. Impulse, love watching your VODs. Glad I could finally catch a stream live. On my birthday, can I get a birthday, Yu-Yo? Thank you for all that you do. You're amazing. Knives too informal, of course. Birthday, Yu-Yo. Why you love <laughs> Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Did I? I did those, yeah? Yeah, I did those. Okay. All right. So everything should be... Oh, my gosh. Yes. How much more do we got? Is there some back there? Whoa! Are you, do you guys see this? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Duh, ruiner. I clicked the chest, not the hopper. I thought it was absolutely perfect. And I, that was exciting. Um, let's put frog lights in the floor, maybe, yeah? So we can get rid of these torches? Does that seem like a cool idea? 
Do I have a gunpowder permit? I don't plan on selling it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this is for me. And anybody in the mountain crew, if they need some TNT, I suppose. Frog lights under the glass. Don't put it in the glass. Put it under the glass. Uh, I was just gonna put it like right in the center of these intersections and then maybe bang and, and then bang. Under the glass though, huh? In the corners? I've already filled the corners, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, I could even pop them on the ceiling if I wanted to. That's pretty high ceiling, I suppose. It wouldn't look terrible. I do need some... What is happening here? What's that? What's that right there? Is this just a glitch? Am I missing glass or something? What is that? Is it a chunk border? Let me see. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I got a little chunk border glitch. Huh. F3A would fix it. Let's see. Wait, is it F3A? I thought it was F3T. Huh. F3A. Reload the chunk. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's get some. Ugh. I'm out. I'm okay. I didn't bring much with me, so let's see. Do we have anything? Do we have anything? Of course not. Of course not. I think I need to make that a priority, like getting uh, my ender chest with stuff in it, you know, like actually stuff that I could use. Maybe wood <laughs> would be good to have in my ender chest. Wood and iron. You can pretty much get away with just about anything. Uh oh, frog light farms literally right here. I was going to go get some ladders too. Ooh. Creeper farm. I'm going to go. I'm going to go verdant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do need to get some ladders. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some ladders while we're in the nether. Why not? Let's go. Let's go. And then we start making the boom booms. See how many we need to make. And then if we don't make enough boom booms, then I might need to go dig some more sand. How many shulker boxes of sand would it make? Okay, here we go. Pop quiz. You guys like math. You, you guys all have told me that you love our math quizzes that we do uh, every stream. So here's your math quiz of the day. Use those braniums. How many shulker boxes of sand does it take to make a double chest of TNT? Go. Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm really, I'm really putting you guys to the test on this one. How many shulker boxes of sand does it take to make a double chest uh -huh. Of TNT. Ooh, we got a lot of answers all over the place, but the one I'm seeing the most is 10. 10 shulker boxes of sand to make one double chest, double chest, two of these guys, full of TNT. Whew. That was a tough one. I really, I really challenge you guys today. I really challenge you. <laughs> I don't like math. I don't want to play. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair. I'm seeing a lot of 10. Yeah, double chest. Double chest. Okay. <laughs> I feel you curious, Alice. All good. This is a good month to rest. <laughs> oh. Wait, so it's eight. 54 times five, right? Because it takes five sand per gunpowder or per, t per TNT. So five for, t oh my gosh. 10 is correct. Okay. So we're not, we have, we have two. <laughs> we need eight more boxes of sand.
this kind of old school feeling right here. Not only that, you like, is that good? You walk out of the portal and go down? Probably. You walk out of the portal, that's going to be what you want to do anyway. I could turn this into a bigger portal so that this is, yeah. That might be worth making this a bigger portal just to, just to set, you know, symmetry. Because you guys know I love, I love my symmetry. Oh, now we're, now we're at eight. Now the consensus is eight. Hold on. We've gone from, we've gone from five to eight. Okay. Now we're at eight. Eight's the new answer. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I blew that. I so blew that. One, two. I'm just going to do three then. Whoops. One, two, three. Now nah, this is still bad. One, two, three. All right. That's... You guys might have been right about doing it under the glass. This looks stupid. <laughs> this looks looks terrible. Under the glass, then. Okay, we have settled on eight. Well done. Well done. Even if you are wrong, at least you attempted to use your brain today, and that's a step forward. Okay? Your brains are like muscles. You need to exercise them important all right what if what if we did something a little crazy i think ceiling might be the way to go <laughs> but i want to do something a little wild with it <sighs> you may hate it and that's also okay I don't know why that was important. We may end up wanting to cover this stone. Maybe, maybe Ethos should not have given these to me for free. Because I can't be trusted with free access to frog lights, okay? I don't, I don't think I can be trusted. I'm like a 12 year old with their parents' credit card. <laughs> yeah, a little decoration will make this cool. Some stairs to cover this. Yeah, unfortunately we're still gonna see, we're still gonna see that stone. But if we put some like cool stairs, you know, this could actually look decent. And now it's, now it's nice and bright. Some quartz stairs, maybe, would look good. We spent way too much time on this, guys. I'm gonna be honest. We spent way too much time. It doesn't have to be stone now. We could go. St we could swap it out up top if we really wanted to. That feels like that feels like uh, work, you know. That feels like work. Creep burning. I missed the torch. I'll get it when I come back. I'm going to go grab some quartz. Let's grab some quartz real quick. Ooh, itchy nose. Vinsola, thank you so much for the $4.20. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the uh, the math broken down for all of us uh, that failed our pop quiz. Me included. Don't worry. I, I didn't even attempt it. Each TNT block requires four sand blocks. A double chest has 54 slots. Therefore... 54 times 64 equals 3,456. 3, That's how many total TNT blocks we need to fill a double chest. 3,456 3, TNT blocks to fill a double chest. So therefore, 3,456 TNTs that each require four sand would mean I would need 13,824 sand to do it. A shulker box can hold 1,728 items. Therefore, 13,824 divided by 1,728 equals eight. Nailed it. Flawless. Is this easy mode? Well done. Well done. Got to have your wits about you. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Did you guys weren't with you didn't stick with it? It's all right. You, you're here to be entertained, not to do math. It's okay. A little bit of aspirin for the headache. It'll be fine. Eight shulker boxes of sand, ten shulker boxes of gunpowder. Perfect. Hi, Skiz. Skiz in chat because he didn't log into the game, so I must be. Uh oh. <laughs> Remind me why I'm coming back to my base. Oh, he subbed to me. 41 month resub from Skizzle Man. Well, thank you so much for the resub, my dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> Think about it. I didn't activate my uh, my sub notice on your stream yesterday. I'm gonna do that. I'll I'll do that next time. I was just lurking. I was lurking while I was working. That's what we do, right, peeps? Lurk while we work. Mmm, I want to go smooth quartz, I think. I think I want to go smooth quartz. Let's make it. I'll do. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I have... Oh, nice. Yes. Love it when a plan comes together. We'll smell some more just in case, but I have it ready to go. Nice. Beef stick! Oh, you worried about beef stick, Skiz. You worried about beef stick? Was beef stick your present to me? Is that one of your mission possible things? Don't worry, beef stick is absolutely um Yeah, he's he's gotta be around here somewhere. Certainly. Gotta be. I mean where would then he wouldn't want to leave the cyberpunk city, would he? I mean, I opened the door and he just kind of wandered out. I didn't think it was going to be a problem. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. He made it outside the walls. Maybe we should have named him Houdini. Oh. Yeah, he's out. He's a free range beef stick. Free range. He, did you make it through there for real? That's a little tiny gap for you. You're too beefy to get through. Oh, uh, he's gonna be hanging around. He's gonna be hanging around. Do we bring him back in the in the city? See, we don't have proper gates yet. We don't have proper gates yet. Let's see. I don't have any leads. I don't have any leads. Why don't I have any leads? Where are my leads at? How do you make leads? String and slime or something? Professional. Professional. I don't know what's up with the enchanted beehives. I don't know why. Beef is uh, collecting his own heads, apparently. Hello. No, dangerous up there. Dangerous up there. Don't do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Guys, remind me in 30 minutes. I got to go. Um, I, I got to go to the movie. How is it already 11 o'clock? How have we been streaming? Cub was yeah. here. <laughs> How have, we, how have we already been streaming for two hours? Jeez. I feel like we literally just started. Oh, I don't have a fence post. Like, anywhere. Uh-oh. Huh. I don't use... Oh, there's... <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> I was just testing you guys. You know, we did the math. Now it's testing your eyes. Next up, I'm going to test your hearing. Somehow that, wait, oh, he's gonna step on, he's gonna step on the pressure plate over and over again and this ho this horse is gonna leave. Nah, Tyler Swift will, will never leave me. Tyler Swift will never leave me. I don't worry about that. Stairs, how many stairs do we need? I'm going to go with three stacks. Let's find out if we're right. <laughs> 71. <laughs> Here's your hearing test. Do you hear the music? Yeah, that's a good question. How many frog lights did I place? I feel like... Oh, uh, no. I feel like I placed two... A stack and a half of... No, we're good. We're going with it. We're going to go with it. 
Am I suing Corrales for the horse shenanigans? Uh, you know, I thought about it. I mean, it was a while ago, but it still didn't sit right. That he tried to swap my horse and then I ended up having to pay extra. The question is, did, hmm. Did it happen too long ago that nobody, nobody cares anymore? The statue of limitations ain't up yet. Are we still upset about it? Even though it was months ago. Gotta sue him. It was the first place B-Dubs went to looking for justice, wasn't it? He was going to go knock on Corrales and he mentioned the horse thing. So, like, B-Dubs already had it in his mind. That was something we need to, we needed to, to go after. What if we do it the other way? What if we did it this way, guys? I think that might look cooler. Don't you think? I think that way looks cooler. Boring to bring it up again. Yeah, I wonder, I just wonder if anybody cares anymore so much time has passed. I think this way looks better yet. Oop, maybe if I place it the right direction. Question is, yeah, I think we got enough. Oh, hello. Is that torture we're talking about? It would be nice to replace the stone. But I don't know if that's going to be worth it. Worth our effort here. It's another low traffic place. I guess that'll work. I think I can deal with it. I think. For today, anyway. We haven't we haven't crafted a single a single TNT, so we should probably get on that. Mm -mm. We had an extra stack. Right? I got it all. It was exactly two stacks. Oh man. That would have been that would have been perfect if we crafted exactly that. This is still flowing in. Alright, time to collect. This is good enough. We have a way to get down to it. I might I might swap out that stone in the future. Just the just the stone that's above the glass, maybe. If I ever feel like it <laughs> feel like I need something to do but for now I can live with it so much gunpowder already barely ran this thing 10 shulker boxes halfway to a rocket factory that's right we get a little sugarcane farm going which is super easy to do and uh, I don't have to buy rockets anymore Sorry, is Scal, I might be supporting myself in the rocket department. Save myself some diamonds for other stuff. Ten. Ten. Ten gunpowder, eight sand. Okay, so if we take that logic, that means we can create we can craft at least one single chest with five shulker boxes of gunpowder and four shulker boxes of sand, correct? Right? Now that's the math I can do. I think. <laughs> that math was solid. And I think, I don't have the empty shulker boxes, but I think we have enough gunpowder already. I, mean, I know we have enough gunpowder. We have enough gunpowder for, for the 10. Yes. <laughs> I always get it backwards, which one requires more. We have enough gunpowder here for 10 shulker boxes already. That's how good this farm is. And that was like, I don't know, four hours of AFK? Something like that? That we filled, we filled 12 double chests basically. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be just fine. All right, so there's our five full shulker boxes of gunpowder, already done. Let's go get two more shulker boxes of sand. 
And then that way we can craft at least one chest, a single chest of TNT. Yeah? I think that's pretty good. I feel pretty good. I feel really good about that. Okay, I got a couple empties there. So there's our two empties that we need to fill. I, I'm going to take this bed with me, actually. Make a shulker box out of TNT. Oh, fill a shulker box with TNT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. I need. I do need an empty one to do that with, but we'll we'll be crafting here in a little bit. Let me grab these two. Let's go to the desert. I'll use that chest to store stuff in. For, okay. Tanger needs a lot of gunpowder for his new shroom light farm. What does he need the gunpowder for? Oh, because he's crafting TNT for. Because he's not duping TNT. It's Tango. Tango. Would... I'll be su I'll be surprised today. Tango decides duping TNT is okay. Ikundu, 200 bits. Thank you so much. What would the stairs look like on the inside and the outside? Oh, border around the outside. That's not a bad idea. That could look pretty cool. Buy sand from Scar. Do you guys? Would you guys rather do that? It's just two shulker boxes that we need. Okay, okay, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I don't feel like digging more sand. We have 20 minutes left before I gotta go, so. Finally, finally, you guys have talked me into it. <laughs> Scar's not sold out, really? No, I used my coupon already. The question is, does he have any? We'll go find out. I was out of rockets. He had one left. And that's what he gets for giving out so many coupons. <laughs> Bring uh, my own shulkers. Oh, they're in a regular chest. If not, we might just have to. We won't have time to go dig sand. We might just have to make what we can make. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What's today? 28th. <sighs> Two days. Two days. Oh, man. Let's hope everybody's busy over the weekend. <laughs> uh, I know I am, so we'll see. All right, last time I came in here, I was like, oh, he doesn't have any left. He has one. One left. And it's 20 diamonds. Woo! Woo! Do you guys see how much better my brain's working? Come on, give me a little credit, yeah? A little bit of credit. A little bit of credit. Brain, brain working so good now. I know that was simple math, but still, I'll take it. All right, all right. So we do, we buy the box, and now these ones are two per stack, right? Uh, so we're gonna need, ooh. Wouldn't that make these way more expensive? Hold on. I was just bragging about my brain. Yeah. That is a weird pricing model. <laughs> if I want to fill my shulker box, it's going to cost me 54 diamonds. Where this shulker box was only 20. I don't, I can't do that. I mean... Did he realize, like... <sighs> All right, I'm gonna do it. Oh, it feels terrible though, it really does. I gotta do it nice and slow-like too, because my inventory is full. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know! It's silly, and we're being silly. We're being very silly. 
That's all right. You know, I, Scar will be happy when he gets back and sees all these diamonds. And that, that is worth it to me. That makes it worth it to me. Because Scar is going to come back and see all these diamonds and is going to put a smile on his face after he's going through a medical uh, procedure that can, cannot possibly be any fun. Uh, that alone is worth the cost. Yeah? Can I get agreeance on that? I will happily give Scar all my diamonds if it puts a smile on his face. There you go. There you go, buddy. But we will have a talk later about the pricing. <laughs> So, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, happy Scar is a good Scar. Means he'll be happy and back to making videos sooner than later. And that's what we all want. That's what we all want. This is for the... It's for the good of humanity, guys. We have to think about... We have to think about... Scar's happiness. Why is there so many signs on this portal? Oh! Pearl's gonna do the portal. Have I never read that before? It's not a weird pricing model. The shulkers are the deal. With individual stacks are for those hermits who only need one or two stacks. It's still to have over twice as much to to have I don't know. You I mean I get that I get that bulk pricing you you would want to have it be less, but not not half or more than half. That seems like it's a little excessive for a price cut. But I, if I if I say something to him, he might just up the price of the the shulker box ones, and and then that wouldn't actually solve any problem, would it? Oh, that would just make things worse. All right, let's see how bad it is to wait. Oh, it is bad. It is gonna be. It is not gonna be fun. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Everything out. Everything must go, except for you. You, 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 okay. Line these up. It's not a great spot. What did I, what did I put these here for? Hey, middle click's working. That's nice. It's not always the case. Um, actually, this would probably work out better if... No, oh, no, I'll keep my whole inventory. All right, so if we go like this, and then like that, that should make a couple stacks, yeah? So we'll stick with that, maybe. Fifteen minute warning till movie time. Yeah, we're we're getting we're getting the job done. We're gonna we're gonna craft these so fast that you guys can't even say the word auto crafter. You can't even finish, you can't even say the word. Don't say it, don't say it. Oh, I grabbed a rug. <laughs> this is fine, it won't take us that long. I'm not prepared for auto crafting, okay? Oops. All right, well, we've given up on the perfect grab. Like, say it, I'll spell it out for you in that time. Spell it out for me. By the way, do you guys have um, inventory? Wait, item scroller mods that you guys play with? If not, highly suggest item scroller. Probably the best client side mod I use. If you guys see like me just clicking and dragging out of these boxes, and you're like, how does he do that? Item scroller mod is a game changer. Absolute game changer. Like being able to do this. I know you can double shift click and stuff, but sometimes you just want to grab certain things out. Ah, uh, it's so good. It's so good. Ultimately, I'd like to have two double chests full of TNT before I even attempt to, uh, do some mountain excavation. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm like in the mood of go big or go home with this project. Big bada boom. <laughs> we 
We're gonna take all of our skills that we learned as a, a boomer in season seven and uh, put them to the test. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, look at that, we did it. Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? That's so beautiful. Ah, oh, full shulker box of TNT. That looks absolutely sick. I want more, I want more. Oh, big bada boom. Oh man, okay. I'm so glad we solved our music issue. You guys liking the playlist I put together so far? Mountain fun. Yeah, we're gonna go have a little bit of mountain fun. Just a little taste. We're gonna go, go, go do a little taste of what's in store. I promised three. Three big bada booms. Now the question is, do we do three at once? Or one, then two, then three? What do we think? Should we maybe do like a little stack tower with the three? Should we cluster the three together and just see what happens with, with three clustered together? Why do I never have flint and steel? Break it up. One, then two, then three. So we can really just, really just enjoy each one in its individual glory. You wanna do it that way? Oh, flame bow. True. I could just shoot it. Yeah. It's more fun to ignite it by hand, don't you think? Don't you think? Oh. It's pretty sad when both the sleep master and the assistant to the sleep master are not online. Right? Then I have to do things myself. Ethos method is definitely gonna get looked into. Don't worry about that. Now, this is where we did our explosion before, right here. Super fast explosion mode engaged. Let's see, let's look at this. I mean, this is kind of off center right here. So I feel like maybe go over there. Maybe go in this area where it's nice and flat. Yeah? This is where it needs help anyway. Alright, how do we want to do it? We said we wanted to do one, two, then three. Let's 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 pick our three. Let's take one from this stack. That that's a good looking one. Let's take. Yeah, that one. That one looks good. Okay. And then, ooh. Yeah, this one looks a little extra spicy. I like that one. Okay. Okay, those are our three that we're going to set off. These are going to be wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Let's go two down. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready. The beginning. The beginning of exploding excavation of the mountain. Boomers 2.0. Excited? <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Look at that! Big bada boom! Alright, let's stack two. Let's stack two. We're gonna stack these two. Um, let's go, ooh. Ooh, look at you. A little soft area right here. A little softy. Softy could be fun. We're going double stack. Double stack for funsies here, yeah? Let's see what happens. This is some gravel, so this might make a little mess. Here we go. Get ready. Ooh. Yeah, the 
extra boom. Look at that. Oh, man. Now imagine what we could do with a whole double chest of it. Look at that. We cleared out at least a 7x7 seven seven just about. Right? We pillar all the way to bedrock and just let it go down. No, etho method. Etho method. We got to go etho method. It's tried, it's tried true method. It's the way to go. It's already been proven by the geniuses. I think we'll save it and go etho method. All right. Let's take a let's take a quick surveillance. A quick scout of the land here. Pacer mom, thank you so much for the five gifts of bomb. Compound 80. Compound 1080. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Have you heard Tank? The Cowboy Bebop opening theme. It's beautiful. No. Tank the Cowboy Bebop opening theme. I'll look that up. <laughs> What's the Etho method? Oh, you'll see. You haven't seen? Oh, you'll see. How would you guys explain the Etho method? Or should we not? Uh, this is a lot of land, guys. We're going to really need... We are going to need more TNT than what I even said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how you explain it. Big bada boom. It's like a nuclear bomb has gone off. And we're going to need that. Look at the size of this area. Oh, man. This is a bit oblong. I wonder if... Yeah, that's probably good, though. Oh, there's something I need to worry about. How close is my... Oh, yeah, look. You can see the bunker, and if you want... If you kind of, like, follow this outline... Ooh. Hmm. Ah, maybe it's not that big. Bunker might get a little nicked in the process. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. As long as... Oh, as long as it doesn't affect my elevator. Okay. All right. Got my TNT on hand. Oh, this is perfect. I hate to tell you guys this, but you're going to have to wait for the episode. You're going to have to wait for my episode for Big Bada Boom. We tease. We tease. Whew. Let's end things in my favorite place oh, as of late. Yeah. Let's just take a little stroll. <laughs> Rude. It's like I'm trying to get you guys to watch my Hermitcraft videos. You know? <laughs> yes. Yes. Did you hear it? <laughs> As if you wouldn't already. I know. <laughs> you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Oh, man. You guys know I did all this. Because that's in the video too. So you promised you'd still watch, right? Even though I showed this off in the video. You already promised me. So I'm holding you to it. If you don't watch my episode because you've already seen everything in the live stream, I will track you down. I will find you. <laughs> I will tape your eyes open and make you watch. <laughs> Don't forget the movie. Yeah, it is time to it is time for me to start wrapping things up. But oh man, let's just stand here for a second. I just love it too much. I just love it too much. Oh. It's so good. I love what we're able to do with these custom audio effects and redstone, of course. Not to mention. Start playing with brightness levels. Ooh, 31. That's not B dub standard, but that's okay. It's a pretty dark tunnel at 30 brightness, I'll give you that. But it enhances the uh the flicker effect quite a bit. And the floor. I think it looks pretty cool. It's like having shaders. Speaking of, ooh, we got just a minute. We got just a minute to do that. Um, let's go back. It's not going to matter. Which, oh, of course, the lights flicker right as I go away. Uh, let's go... This guy. I like this guy. Let's see what it looks like in this this particular shader. Yeah. 
That looks pretty cool. Ah. Uh, that's a vibe. That's a great vibe. I don't like the door at the end. You can see those those frog lights through the door. So if we stand this way. Oh, look at the lichen. Oh, look at the lichen in the shader. That's so cool. You can see the little specks underneath. See it straight ahead. Hopefully Twitch isn't ruining that. Do you guys see the little speck of lichen? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, we got to show this off with shaders at some point. That is so cool. See, this is the problem. I love this tunnel so much. I never want to leave it. <laughs> I never want to leave it. It's so cool. Uh, anyway, all right, guys. I'm going to get back. Well, I'm going to go watch the movie, and then I'm going to get back to finishing up the Hermitcraft video. Uh, hopefully we'll be out Sunday morning it's looking like so my normal time Sunday it's, it's I usually release 7 a.m. Pacific so if all goes well that's when that will be coming out so please be ready to watch that one and I promise you it's gonna be a good one and I can't wait to talk about it on Monday so please try to watch it before the stream on Monday because I'd like to talk about it on Monday um, yeah <laughs> I'm excited for it I, I, I'm just, I'm having such a good time. I, I'm having such a good time. And I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Getting back in the groove and uh, getting healthy. It's, it's, it's been, it's been, it's been a good, good couple weeks. All right, let's find somebody to raid. I know I'm early and so it's going to be harder for me to catch my normal raid targets, which is usually Tango. Um, but Pearl's still streaming and she's doing her decked out stuff. So let's head on over to, uh, to Pearl. She is addicted. She is, is well addicted to decked out. So go see how she's doing. Um, eventually, Pearl and I are going to get a session together to where she's going to walk me through decked out and give me all her tips. So um, I'm looking forward to that. But let's uh, head on over to Pearl. Go wish her luck. See how she does. Hope she gets some nice artifacts and, and all that. And I will uh, catch you guys after the weekend. Have a good weekend, everybody. I'll see you Monday. And enjoy the episode on Sunday. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Oyander, thank you so much. Gotcha. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>